Hello everyone, welcome back to my RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. At the end of the previous video, I had completed the design of what will hopefully be the core of my orbital rocket, but we're going to use that stage on its own in order to launch a film camera into space, thus fulfilling a contract that we have for that. But we're going to need a lot of engineers to build it. That's what I'm doing right here, assigning a bunch of engineers. But it still take about a year to build this rocket, so that's a little bit of frustration. This continues to be part of my uh, live stream, the first live stream that I did, and so it's the same live stream from episodes one and two. And here we are taking a look at the contract that we're trying to fulfill, and we can only pick up one contract at a time, which is an ongoing frustration here. And all we have to do is launch the early film camera to space and downrange 200 kilometers. So with that, here's the original audio. Right now, yes. So, tooling. Uh, yeah, we can tool both of those without any problems. So, insufficient liquid. All right. Okay, fine. Now we have to reconstruct it again and have the. Oh shoot! No. Did I have the right resources? I don't even know. Till, hold on, no, cancel that. Upgrade. No hide resources. Okay. Seems to have stuff. I guess while that's happened, no, no, uh, the build is tied to the particular pads, so we can't do the building at the same time as we're renovating the pad, I think. Right. Now it's all happy. Height, though, we have to watch out for. We might have to renovate it to accept the larger height. Potentially. Eventually. Okay. Build. This vessel cannot be built. Oh, why are you not available right now? Basic rocketry. Uh, we can't build it until we have the engine. Could we like, you know, <laughs> build all the rest of it? No. <laughs> build time is still ridiculous though. We're gonna have trouble fulfilling our requirements. In theory the downrange is the only thing we haven't done there, but I'm not too sure it, whether it recognizes that or not. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put an engine that we already have on. I don't think we need all this power. It'll be built for this engine, but we don't need it. But then we've on the pad we've got the mix for this engine. We can't just do that. Um, is you don't run on ethanol? No, you do run on ethanol. Uh, are you not gonna have any? Del oh, you're probably ethanol seventy-five. You're ethanol seventy-five. Ah, uh, fine. We're just gonna have to wait. Fine. How, how do I speed this up? Oh right, that's that's uh, science. Science. I need its researchers. But the the salary and facilities is like huge. Okay, now we can build our rocket. Oh, fine. That's expensive, though. No, I guess they're all there. Well, looks like we're positive. For now. Until we fail everything. Because we have a deadline here. Downrange milestone... 1976. Hopefully that's the only thing. But another problem is that we can only take one at a time. I mean, it says we can take three active contracts, but it doesn't let me take three. Otherwise, I'd take the downrange ones and have this go downrange, potentially. Uh, but it won't reach that distance, I don't think. But still. Oh, those require a sounding rocket payload. You just stop getting... Oh, okay. Alright, I thought we were going to be in serious trouble. Alright. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. It takes how long to roll it out? 
It's no longer showing days, it's showing the date. Because it takes two weeks to roll it out. Uh... Okay, well, I'll need MechJub for this. If I... if it works. Okay. It didn't work. <laughs> okay, um, we'll, we'll have Kerbal Construction Times version of... Recover active vessel to warehouse. I think so. So... Do I have to replace the engine? Recovering. It takes two weeks to recover it though. Do I have to go edit, put on a new engine? Or when I roll it out, we'll have an ignition. Previously, it would actually have zero ignitions here, so that when you tried that, without actually replacing the engine, it wouldn't have an ignition. But I can't see any indication that it lacks... Uh, that it has zero ignitions, but it also doesn't tell me that it has one ignition, so... Alright, we'll see. Oh, it, uh, it had the same smart ASS state. Hold on. Ignition's remaining zero. Yeah, we have to put a new engine on. Come on. Ah. No, let's double check. Uh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it says ignition is remaining zero because it's ground lit. But, but then the last time it also had a failure down here in the test flight thing. So at least this time it doesn't have a failure. I don't know. Um, or everything could be messed up. Anyway, throttle up and... So, was that because it already had a failure or... I think it was test flight again. We're never gonna use this engine, are we? <laughs> uh, okay. Fine. That's another month. Okay. Uh-oh. SAS, Smart SS is already active. This still says zero. I don't know. Just trying out RP1. That's all we've got. If I press spacebar again, it's just gonna fail, isn't it? Okay, maybe not. Alright, we're off. Let's see if we have control. Oh, I don't like that. Oh no! No, no, don't do that. That's not good. Don't do that. Oh boy. Okay. Bit of a flaw there. This might be a little bit OP for this one. Well, anyway, uh, we'll be alright for now. Oh, but we've gone way too far. <laughs> Whoops. I was meaning to just get to 140, not that much. We're probably not gonna survive with the payload. Okay. Attitude adjustment. Hybrid. It says better though. <laughs> it was using the better controller. Hybrid's the one I usually use. Well, maybe we'll just rely on the rest of this to ablate. It'll probably, if we don't decouple, it's probably going to go nose first though. Hmm. Well, anyway, just in case I'll tell it to arm the chute. Are we 200 kilometers away? Um, barely, wow. Okay, we just need to survive this. Let me 
try that. All right, all right. Just enough. Oh, we definitely lost communication here. Okay. Finally, after many rollouts and rollbacks. Okay, so what do we need to do next? First low space film return. We, we need another low space film return. 150 and 400 kilometers downrange. I don't know if we're going to survive that as well. We'll s see. Small bio. This one is actually easier, I think. But I think we need the advanced one in order to satisfy this. Yeah, we need the bio return and advanced, not the small one. Suborbital research. We've got that. Suborbital rocket development is just a downrange stuff. But it requires 3,000 before doing 4,500. I guess. I don't know why. I mean, why? Why do you have to be like that? Well, we might as well try it. We've got one of these being built anyway. Alright. Ah, oh, it failed. Gosh darn it. This is the version with the bad turbo pumps or something. You know what? Maybe I can knock out the biological experiment. But we can't get two different contracts at the same time. I guess I can just get rid of it for now. Okay. Um... Because otherwise we can't get to these, we have to do this one first. 35 units plus, uh, we can do that with our small rocket, I think. So we can do that on the small pad, I believe. I believe we- oh, I can edit that, Era Beast 5. Okay, so... It wanted 35 units. I don't know if I want to make this smaller, we'd have to retool it. it how much is it? Ah, that's cheap. And then the biological experiment. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Why is it clipping in there? You see that? I don't want it to do that. Why is it doing that? It shouldn't be like that. Well, we really don't need these anymore because where we're going, they won't matter. So, Build time is infinite because we don't have our staff here. Engineers at that pad. Go away. Engineers on this pad. Well, we didn't have to unassign everybody. We just need 17 here. Okay, it has the sounding rocket payloads, and we have the biological experiment. We just need to get to 100 kilometers. Don't need to recover it. Okay, throttle up, and let's go. Now, of course, the science of the bio biological experiment, I think, is like useless unless you recover it. So. We're overshooting a bit, but it won't matter. We want it to be checked, okay. Alright. Let's not kill throttle, okay. Oh no, it has returned home safely. Oh shoot, I missed that. It has a return home safely, whoops. Hmm. 
Well, it could return home safely. Probably not, though. We'll need a parachute. Come on, do some weird combination of aerodynamics and lithal braking. Eh, not so much. Okay. No, oh, we got down there. 2.55. Okay, I don't want to retool this app. Ah, it's already sort of at the limit there. Water, jeez. Oh, I already have at the limit there too. Um, thirty-five exactly. No, doesn't help. Wing strength. Oh yeah, we could do that. Well, it's pretty low, but I can reduce it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but we'll we'll see. Okay, we have our parachute. We don't want it firing at the same time as the air B. Well, we do have this Debbie that's ready to go. I guess we can try it. Oh, did we check? Uh, we might not have replaced the engine. Shoot. I don't know if we, I don't think we replaced the engine. That's the problem. Yeah, it still says failed to ignite. I'm, I'm betting it's not going to ignite. Well, I guess while we have it here, we might as well try. <laughs> or it could ignite, I guess. Alright, well, maybe I'm wrong about that. It just so happened to not ignite that other time. We need to go 400 kilometers this time. Oh, we don't have that contract! Oh, shoot. I don't even know how far we're going to get because we don't have the contract and it won't track it. We don't even get an uncrewed record. At least we got a speed record. I guess we'll find out whether it would survive it. But I don't think uh, we're going too far this time. Or I think I'll just decouple it now. Otherwise, I won't have communication. Oh, it's good. But uh, we have no contract being fulfilled by this. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I, I could do the film experiment. Anyway, we don't have the contract, so we're going back to the small pad and doing that one while the next Debbie is built. Okay. Well, now we do have recovery, so we should... not that. Should do the biological experiment once we get in space. I don't know how long it takes. It doesn't take that long, I didn't think. So, alright. Wait, where did my contract go? We had the biological sample contract and we were supposed to recover it. Did it, did it think it was recovered? I've got too many of these vessel completed. Uh, I probably have to actually control the rocket.
contracts. Archive. I guess it must have counted as finished. First low space biological experimentation. Oh gosh darn it. Offered. Well, we can't access that here. So we didn't have to do this one. Even though, it, I guess it counted as returned even though it crashed into the ground. Oh, it's 20 minutes though. Now, we'll try. Get what we can, I suppose. Okay. Oh, oh, fins. Just fins. Okay. Well, that's two con uh, two things I did in a row for no reason. As usual. Well, six credits. Downrange. Or low space film return. So at this point I decided that I would conclude the live stream after all. We had just done two launches that we didn't really need to do and clearly I was getting a little bit tired. So uh, we had some choices to make. We probably need to use the Debbie for the available contracts, the downrange one and the film camera one. But the Debbie takes a long time to build. Now, we've got a bit of a budget there, so we could probably hire some more engineers to speed things up a bit. But, yeah, it's a uh, toss-up which way I want to go with either the downrange or the film camera next. And I'm still iffy about the administrators and chief designers and all this business, I because uh, none of it's appropriate to my space program, being the European Space Agency. So I'm still laying off of those, even though they could potentially bring some benefit uh, on principle. Anyway, uh, so with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.